The new season of Toy Boy is back with more drama and mystery. The series continues to follow the life of its first season's protagonist, Hugo Beltran. Toy Boy Season 2 picks up from where Season 1 ended, with the bomb blasted Inferno and the potential death of Hugo's lover and lawyer, Triana. The introduction of a new villain in town spices up the mystery all the more. This intimate thriller is all about love, betrayal, and power play. Luckily, the series spares its viewers the torture of watching 13 episodes, each with an hour-long duration. There are eight episodes this time, with a duration of 40-50 mins. At the very beginning of the series, we learn that Triana is alive. She survived the blast but was severely injured. She started to rethink her life choices as she believed every complication in her life was linked to her relationship with Hugo. She tried to cut ties with Hugo, even though his love for her never died. He silently continued to pay her bills at the clinic and hoped for her recovery. In the meantime, Hugo and Ivan were desperate to learn who blasted the bomb at Inferno. As soon as they knew the type of bomb used for the blast, they knew the area where it was widely used. Upon questioning an employee about any recent purchases of the bomb and threatening him with his life, they were informed that the Irishman had bought the bomb. Hugo informed the police, and the Irishmen were arrested. Though the case was not as simple as it was predicted, gradually, we learn that someone else conducted the blast and blamed it on the Irishmen. Along with the mystery of the Inferno blast, the Medina Rojas feud continues. Rojas took control of the company, with Andrea as the puppet in the hands of Carmen, the lawyer. The series took a turn when Macarena returned from her spiritual retreat. What followed was a tug of war for power between Macarena and Benigna. Toy Boy Season 2, released after two years, experiments visually. Split screen is massively used at times for aesthetics and at other times to demonstrate different timelines. This was a refreshing change for the series. Toy Boy continues to complicate the plot, at times unnecessarily, with too many backstories and varied motives. Who was the Turk? Toy Boy Season 2 has a new character named Turk. Though originally Italian, he was infamously called a Turk after he murdered the Count with an Ottoman knife to steal an acclaimed painting. The versions of this tale vary. Leonardo Turk confessed that it was his sister who had murdered the Count and not him. Even though it was a secret that was kept hidden. The world believed it was him who had been murdered. Turk was an orphan but grew up to be a gangster. He always knew that he wanted all the luxuries in the world, and he could do anything to achieve it. His sister was his support system, though Turk found it difficult to trust people, and at times, even his sister. Turk opened a new strip club called 1%. It had the luxury and glamour that were absent from Inferno. The Toy Boys decided to start performing at the new venue as the money was good, and they desperately needed work. When the police arrested the Irishman, members of the gang turned up at the club. The members were seeking revenge as they were not behind the blast, it was the Turk who had planted the bomb, but was framed to blame it on the Irish. Since the information about the explosion was confidential, the Turk tortured the Irishman to name the person who leaked this information. He pointed to David. David was the security manager of Turk, and his betrayal cost him his life. What further complicated the plot was the relationship between David and Rainia, the Turk's sister. It was Rainia who had shared the details of the blast with David, and she knew that her brother would kill her if he found out the truth. Rainia took advantage of Ivan and Hugo. With their help, she removed every piece of evidence that pointed to her relationship with David. She knew how dangerous her brother was and that it was only after imprisoning him that she could live her life without any threat. The Medina Rojas feud, Macarena wanted revenge on the Rojas, particularly Benigna. She could not forgive her for taking away her family house. She knew how Rojas was manipulating her son and was furious about it. Together with the Turk, Macarena tried to disturb Benigna by poisoning her flowers and even dining at her table in the middle of the night. To impress Macarena all the more, the Turk planted the beheaded boy from David in front of Benigna's house. Benigna, threatened by the series of events, sought help from Zapata, who was now a retired police officer. Benigna pretended to end the feud and handed Macarena the key to her house. Macarena was delighted with the progress and success of her plan. 
Though her happiness was short-lived, Zapata had kidnapped Rainia to extort money from the Turk and, most importantly, blamed Makarina for the kidnapping. The money demanded was the same figure as the cost of Makarina's house, and upon further investigation, the Turk learned that the kidnap video was sent from Makarina's location. Just when the Turk was about to punch Makarina in the face, Rainia arrived. She confirmed that it was not her who planned the kidnap, but Zapata. She managed to escape by injuring the man who was in charge. Makarina knew it was Benigna who was behind it all. To get back at her and to seek forgiveness from Makarina, the Turk planted a bomb at the port. After the blast, ancient coins were discovered at the port site, and the construction work came to a halt. With the help of Leo, the Turk, Makarina blackmailed the minister to halt the construction for as long as they desired. This shook Benigna. She agreed to sell her share to Makarina, but only if the halt was raised on the same day itself. This condition became a decisive element for Makarina, as Leo wanted to restart the construction work after getting married to Makarina. He was aware that she relied on him to control the minister, and he intended for her to receive the share only after their marriage towards a certain power play. Makarina did not get married and instead used evidence that could dismiss the ancient coin theory. This finally brought peace between the two families. Will there be another season of Toy Boy? As a result, it's safe to anticipate that the Spanish drama will return in a fresh version. As a result, if the program is renewed shortly and maintains the same release schedule, we can expect Toy Boy Season 3 to premiere on Atlas Player Premium in Q3 2022 and Netflix in Q1 2023. What can we expect in the future in Toy Boy Season 3? Hugo's life is threatened in the second season by Al Turco, who hires him for a criminal operation. Hugo and his friends devise an escape strategy for the harassed protagonist, who is currently being prosecuted. He does, however, surrender to the police, and Al Turco attacks Hugo in his prison cell. Meanwhile, Al Turco's men shoot Makarina because she cheated on him on their wedding day. Season 3 of Toy Boy could thus pick up where Season 2 left off, with plenty of suspense. Hugo's fate will be decided, while Andrea, now alone, must find his footing against El Turco and his men. Gyro and the others may find it difficult to manage Ivan's new business.